What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Wrath of Krang. And so here we do have the Krang Android pose and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories because he does come with a lot of accessories. So let's get up right onto it. He does come with three pairs of hands. We do have a pair of relaxed grip hands. We have a pair of tight grip hands. And we have a pair of looser grip hands, and they all fit on the body nicely. We do get several different weapons. We do get two maces with chains, and those look really nice. I love the way these look. We do get an axe for either of his hands. Then we also do get a saw for either of his arms. And again, the saw does spin, which is nicely. Then we do get two guns that do fit onto each of his hands, so that's a really nice little accessory. Finally, we do get a shower cap and a shower towel which do look really funny I really do find these hilarious our final accessory is baby shredder and I really do like the way baby shredder is here I'm, I'm actually gonna go over articulation for all of the three figures we have here because yes there are three figures we have baby shredder we have Krang and then we have the Android body so we will be taking a look at each of these figures individually so yeah, that's a lot of accessories that Crane comes with, and I'm really, really happy that I do have them in hand. So, with that out of the way, guys, let's actually have a closer look at the Android Crane. So taking a look at the Krang Android, you can see he does look really nice. I did forget to mention that he does come with this necklace. It's not sculpted onto him. I just completely forgot that I had it on him. You can take it off. So, yeah, it's not a permanent fixture, but... It is there in case you want it. Really loving the Krang Android here that we have. And I think NECA has done a fantastic job. I think this is the one figure everybody wanted when NECA first showed off the cartoon Ninja Turtles. Everybody was asking, where's Krang? Where's Krang? And now we finally do have one in hand and I really do like the way he looks. So yeah, Krang here does look really impressive. I love the head sculpt on him. It looks just like that Android. I, I always thought that this was some fat guy that he possessed, and again, Ninja Turtles was on when I was very little, so didn't realize that this was an android until later down the road, but it is a really nice sculpt, and I really love the detailing on it. Something that I am a little upset about is they missed a line right here, and it's not a big deal. I kind of wish that they added more lines on Krang, because he does feel a little bit light on the paint apps in terms of the cartoon turtles so having a look right here you can see that they did outline some of the rectangles right here on his body kind of wish that they had a little bit of shading I think they do on here on the side so they do continue the ninja turtle trend where the front is lighter than the back but you can see there's a lot of paint slop right here on mine which is really really unfortunate I kind of wish that that wasn't the way it was but there's really nothing I can do about that we do have these really beefy arms which are kind of stumpy which that works for the figure and then he does have the relaxed hands on him at the moment so yeah I really do like this now we do move on to his guts per se, which is Krang, and Krang does look really nice in there. So Krang doesn't just shove it in here. You can't just shove Krang in here and call it a day. You actually do have to take the Android apart, which he does have a tab here, here, and here. And what you do is just you untab him, and he comes right off, and then you can pull Krang right out. And I think Krang looks really nice. The paintwork on him is superb, and I think the pink they went with is really, really impressive. And something I do like is that these little knobs or joysticks, they're actually movable, so they're on little ball joints that you can move around, so Crane can actually look like he's piloting the android. And I really do like the way his arms are curled. Uh, can you call those arms his tentacles whatever you want to call them they're folded in just so you can have them playing around with those joysticks so yeah he does peg on really nicely and once you peg him on you'll feel a little click and he stays in there no problem so he's not going to be falling off so really do like the way they engineered this that you just don't shove crank in here because that would probably damage the paint here and scuff up here so the engineering on Krang, they actually did take some time to figure out how to engineer him. I just kind of wish that there was an easier way to detach the body. But once you get it on, 
it's a solid fit. He's not going to go anywhere, so really do like that. The yellow here is done really, really nice. I love the way it looks. We do have the little red buttons right here on the side. We have some more texturing right here. We have the vent. So overall, they did a really good job with them. I think we have a charging port right there. It looks like a charging port for a three-prong uh, dryer cord, but I'm not going to go there. He does have the red underoos, which is accurate to the show. We do have these really nice panel lining going down his legs, all the way down to the red little boots. Or shoes, they're not really boots, they're like little slippers or sandals that he's wearing. Almost like socks. They're almost like tiny red little socks, but again, panel lining is done exceptionally well, and they do continue the two-tone on Krang's lower torso here. Uh, it doesn't look like they do it with the red, though. I might be wrong. It's just really subtle if they did do the two-tone there, but I don't think they did. So yeah, really loving the detailing on here. So let's actually talk about Baby Shredder really fast. So here we have Baby Shredder in hand, and I think they did a fantastic job with this. This is, of course, from one of the episodes where Shredder turns into a baby. You can see he has his pauldrons right here. They're oversized. He's still wearing the helmet. He doesn't have his mask. And he's just draped in a little purple uh, robe. It looks f funny. It's cute. It's a nice little accessory. And he is articulated, which we'll go over that right now. He has a ball joint here in the head, which works really nicely. You can see it does move left and right. We have ball joints at the shoulder, although they are hindered by the helmet. You can turn his head and get the shoulders out. So you can do that. That looks really nice. And they do move forward and back. Again, everything is hindered by the helmet here. You can see they butt up against it. And then we do have a little hinge for his legs so he can be seated. So overall, little Shredder here is a fun little accessory. I do like the way he came out. So with that out of the way, let's actually get the Krang Android compared to other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have the Android Krang posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have the Android Krang posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Android Krang posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally, here we have the Android Krang posed next to the NECA Animated Series Shredder and the Animated Series Raphael. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to the Android Krang's articulation. Now he does sport surprisingly decent amount of articulation, so let's run through it really fast. His head is on a ball joint going into the torso, so we do get some really nice head tilt going off to the side, going off to the other side, does turn left and right, looks down no problem, goes up really nicely, so we do get all the range you'd expect out of that ball joint. And it's functional, which I really do enjoy that. His arms are on ball hinges. They do go out to the side, eh, almost all the way horizontal. They do go all the way around, although they do get hindered by his shoulder pads. So do be aware when you're rotating them that the hinder pads or the shoulder pads will hinder articulation, but they are of a soft material, so they do move out of the way slightly. We do have a hinge here at the elbow, giving us. Eh, about a little more than 45 degrees, so that's actually functional. We do have rotation here at the elbow. We have a swivel and hinge at the wrist, although it's a little bit stiff. Do heat joints up if you feel like it's not giving. You don't want to end up breaking your figure. So yeah, we do have a hinge in the wrist. We don't have anything in the abdomen, which is to be expected, seeing as how it's just an empty void right here. If you don't have Krang in here, there's really nothing in here, so there's no reason why he would have abdomen articulation. But Krang here does have ball joints here at his little arms, tentacles. I don't know what you want to call them, but he does have ball joints there, and those do function really nicely. Let's see if I can't move. Uh, he is gripping the, the little control kind of tight, so I don't really want to move it because I don't want to break that. But yeah, we do have ball joints at his um, shoulders, arms, tentacles. I don't know. We have ball joints at his appendages, I guess I want to say. So for the Krang Android here, we do have a waist swivel, which does work pretty okay. Doesn't go all the way around. It kind of only goes there to there. So yeah, whatever Krang sees, that's what the Android sees, basically. Although you can kind of make it... That, that really doesn't... I don't know how that would work in real life. But anyway, moving on, we do have 
ball joints here at the hips, and those do go out to the side. Ah, uh, about that far. I don't know what more you expect out of this uh, Android here. Maybe a little more range, but kicking forward do go out only to about there, so it's not the best, so do keep that in mind. We do have thigh swivel up high, double bend here at the knee, going all the way back, so decent movement there. We do have a hinge in the foot, goes that far back, that far forward, and then we have forward facing pin for rocker ankle, and oh no, that is a that is a stiff joint, so I will have to heat that up. Yeah, those rocker ankles don't want to move, so I'm going to have to heat those ankles up because they do feel like they're giving me some resistance there. But anyway, that's the Android Krang for you, or Wrath of Krang, whichever way you want to call it. I really like the way he came out. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wrath of Krang pose for my final thoughts. And overall, really, really happy with the way this figure came out. This is one figure I know a lot of Ninja Turtle fans have been asking for for a really long time. Especially since we got the animated series Turtles. I think the Wrath of Krang figure here is really well done for what it is. I know there's a lot of people that want super posable, super action figures, but... This Android really didn't do much in the TV show, so what we have here is a fairly accurate representation of what was on the show, and I think NECA has done a fantastic job capturing the likeness with the paint. I think the paint just blows it out of the water, and the sculpt work on this thing is super, super clean. Although it is a little bit messy on the head, that's the only point of contention I have with this figure, is the sloppy paint job on the head, Everything else about this figure is done exceptionally well, from his accessories to the weapons. Everything about him is well executed, so NECA has knocked it out of the park. Now, being an animated series figure, this is a Target exclusive, and it is a pain to find the Ninja Turtles at Target. I actually wasn't expecting to find Krang locally. I thought I would have to get him from another collector, but thankfully, when I went to return the broken Xenomorph that I had reviewed, I found Krang on the shelves, and it was the only one there, so I had to pick it up. Thankfully, he did only cost me $35, which is fair seeing as how we get a lot of accessories, and he is a hefty figure. If you are looking for Krang, like I said, you will have to try to track him down from Target, which is not an easy task, but if you can find him, don't pass on him, especially if you're a fan of Ninja Turtles. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos and as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.